Once upon a time, there was a boy named Rumpelstiltskin. Rumpelstiltskin loved his name, even though it was hard for other people to say. He didn't care that it wasn't simple like Davy or Bobby, or easy to say like Timmy or Scotty. No, Rumpelstiltskin loved his name because it was special. And he also loved it because his mommy and daddy had chosen that name just for him. So when people had trouble saying it, he didn't get upset. He would just play a little game, like he did on the first day of school. That day, the teacher asked everyone to stand up in front of the class and introduce themselves. Rumpelstiltskin was last to go, but he wasn't scared. Proudly, he stood up in front of everyone and said, My name is Rumpelstiltskin. I know it's a hard name to say, so I have a treat for the first person who can say it correctly. The whole class got very excited. A treat? They started practicing immediately. Can you help me practice their name? They said, R -r Rum? Rum Rumpy? Rumpy. Keep trying, said Rumpelstiltskin. Rumpel? Rumpel? Rumpelstilly? Rumpelstilly. <gasps> You're getting closer. Rumpelstiltskin. Yes. Rumpelstiltskin, a little girl yelled from the back of the room. That's it, clapped Rumpelstiltskin. You said my name. Hooray! And here's your treat. Rumpelstiltskin reached into his pocket and pulled out a shiny piece of gold. Ooh, said the class. But the little girl from the back of the room said something else. She said, I don't want a shiny piece of gold. Would you want a shiny piece of gold? Yeah. You don't, asked Rumpelstiltskin. No, said the girl. I just want to be your friend. Oh, why, thank you, said Rumpelstiltskin with a smile. And I want to be your friend, too. Rumpelstiltskin gave the girl a hug. One of the other boys in the class raised his hand and said, I want to be your friend, too, but I have a problem. What's that, asked Rumpelstiltskin. I still can't say your name. Rumpelstiltskin laughed. That's okay. I know that my name is very different. I have a rhyme I can teach you to help you remember it. Will you help me say this rhyme? Yeah. Let's see. Let's see what he said. <gasps> Great, said the boy. Great. So Rumpelstiltskin cleared his throat and said, Even though it's different and doesn't sound the same, Rumpelstiltskin is my name. The rest of the class tried the rhyme. Can you try it with me? Okay. Even though it's different. Even though it's different. And doesn't sound the same. Doesn't sound the same. Rumpelstiltskin. Is my name. Is my name, yes. Yay, they all clapped. That rhyme helps us remember how to say your name. Now we can all be friends. And they were. They were friends forever and ever. And those children never forgot how to say Rumpelstiltskin's name ever again. And they all lived happily ever after. The end. <laughs> Good job. Thanks.